Bannon, Minister of Curse, 1578-99, known as the Province of Curse. This squat, grinning little figure has a colourful history and done a great deal of travelling in its time. According to the well-known book Old Keras, the old Croft House, Anderson's, the statue was the work of a local stonemason called John Howie. His best known work is the statue of David Maitland, my girl Crichton, that stands by the side of the main road near the railway station in Cooper. He was born in 1820 and brought up in Soft Tree, is near Keras. The statue is reputed to be a likeness of the Reverend Thomas Buchanan, a man, man of great learning and a nephew of George Buchanan, the famous historian. He was a minister of the village kirk in the last province of Keras been presented to the post in 1878 by King James VI. The statue, statue's original resting place was the gardens of the Kirklands, the old church man's that once occupied and is now the church car park, where he was placed around 1837 by his first owner, the Reverend Joseph Crichton. How he apparently also carved out the surround for his statue, placing the figure in a niche above the, a large panel, which is said to depict the cavalry skirmish between at the Battle of Bannockburn, with the carved head on each side. Mm -hmm. Almost forgotten, the statue has remained in its niche in the Kirkland wall, undisturbed for almost a century. stuff for almost a century until he was pushed into sudden notoriety in 1933 when he was sold by Mr. Ogilvy, the postmaster at the time and the owner of the Kirklands to a Mrs. Lindsay of Cooper. Such was the indignation caused the loss of the figure to the village. The people of Kers insist he be brought back as soon as possible. Thanks to me mainly the efforts of the minister at the time, the Reverend Enid Simpson, the provost soon, soon returned home, where he was duly placed on the corner of the churchyard. After a while, it was decided that the statue should be moved to a more prominent position in the village. And to this end, an appeal was launched under the chairmanship of Reverend Simpson, and there was no, no lot of response from Keras people, both abroad and at home, and the sum of £54 and 7 shillings was raised. This money was used to erect a figure at his present home. The lower, por lower portion of the facade is original, and the original niche was replaced with an ornate fire surround, repeatedly taken from the lower Craig Hall Castle. He was officially unveiled at 1 p.m. on Saturday at the Creek Games at Keras Games in July 1939 by James Henderson, Stuart MP for his wife. At the time, all that remained to be done to complete the work was the erection of a railing around the facade. But without break of the Second World War, this was forgotten, and the work is still pending. What a great, great figure. A fantastic statue.
Marvellous. And this, that's uh, Keras Inn. It's one of the oldest pubs in Scotland. Established in 1721. Almost 400 years old. Pub is still open. Magic, absolutely fantastic. Well done, people. Keep in this. Fantastic. We sing. Go on. Not this. The pit. The Battle of Bannock Pun. I think. It looks like it. I mean, Magic. This is the present kirk, an ancient churchyard of the Pyre site. It's been a place of Christian worship, burial and burial for over a thousand years. The date of the original foundation of the church is not recorded prior to 1273. Keris came under the influence of the Kildes, who had the Bishop of St Andrews. Subsequently, the church was handed over to the Roman Catholic Church in 1306. It became a church in conjunction with the provostry of St. Mary's, later known as Kirkcush. The city of St. Andrews, although the Keras Church appointed its first Protestant minister, Patrick Constance, after the Refor Reformation in 1560, Paris did not receive independence until six years later. In the 1790s, the minister of the time, Robert Arnold, wrote of the church as being a very old fabric, in which the letter in the 1790s Some remote period, a nail has been conjoined to it on the east end by the family of Crawford, and still continues to be their exclusive property. property. A nail has also been conjoined to it in the south, exclusive property of the Honourable John Hope of Craig Hall. This, before the Reformation, was a chapel dedicated to St Ninian. In the year 1722, on account of the increased population of the parish, a large scale aisle was added by the heritors on the north side of the church. The whole will contain some 800 heritors and is far too small a place of worship for the parish. It would appear that the Reverend Ar Arnott's fears as to the inadequate capacity of the building didn't go unheard. In 1806, the present building was inaugurated under the ministry of the, the Reverend Joseph Crichton, whose initials could be, uh, can be seen carved into the lintel above the, the doors. The tower was added about 1870, and it said, in honour of local ma man Joseph Spindle, a feature of the present church building and the ability 
of the sacrament of Holy Communion to be administered in the fashion of the early Reformed Church at long stables with the common cup. The church is seated for 1100 but could actually hold 1300 in the time of Joseph Crichton. The average number of communites was a thousand. Right, I'll show you some of these names. I mean, the Crawford family are here. Um, very, very powerful family in Fife. Probably still are. Um, I will be going to Crawford Priory tomorrow or Sunday um, to see the actual Priory, which is not actually a Priory, it's just built like a Priory. Um, which is beautiful, beautiful ruin. It's just been left to rot um, since Lady Mary, when she proper died, um, it's just been left in a disrepair. Robert Cook Very powerful family. I mean, they must be very wealthy. Have a, a monument like that. Yeah. But was never get graves like that in them days. Thanks for that. Had me down like this. I'm impressed. Look at that monument now. Beautiful. It's just like a Small castle. Agnes Seath died in 1860. He's 50 years. Also, the brother Alex Ogilvy who died. An incredible condition for the age. I mean, it's 1841. What a sort of sunken building on one side. Thomas Gregg of London. In memory of his sister in law, Christina Forrester. 1866.
This one's starting to freak me out. Please. I'm going to down. I mean, I love what happened in that. That's not impossible, I think. What's on that? It also looks like a coffin. You know, it wasn't just a wealthy but things like that. I mean, it's maybe a little bit politicians and people like that. That's 1174. Must have been quite a big family in this area. Quite a lot of graves here. John Joe, who died. It's like 11. Must look up in your family. It could also be the descendants of the guns. Some 
Scotland is beautiful. Look at that waterfall. This is at Kenbuck. Uh, just a couple of miles in the road to the terrace. Man, that is fantastic. Look at that. The last time we've seen anything like that was in Florida. Uh, Disneyland, totally fake. That is natural, my friends. Natural. Natural spring water. Look at that. That's fantastic. See me loving that as well. See that? Come on. Look at that. Ho <laughs> ho. See that? Yeah. There's another wee waterfall there. I think that's man made. Uh, you know, it's perfectly square as. But that runs right down to the stream across there. I'm going to have a look at that. Come on, come on. Right. Yep. Because you rode there. Right, come here, come here. Look at that landscape there. Look at that. Oh man. Incredible. Well, it's really a beautiful country we live. I don't appreciate that. Mm. Stay away from your things and centres and get rid of the countryside. This is I've been here for millions and millions of years. But do you know what gets me a bit faith? Right? Now, there's only about maybe 15, 20 houses there in the the village of Kembach. Let's go to some church. Now, every little village has got a church. And surely there's not that much call for religion in the 21st century. Yeah. Justify all these churches. Why are they insisting on ramming this to the people's throat? Religion. And then there are in no way a religious person, but I'm in the I'm in the same mindset as like Bill Maher. He says, Do you know what? Maybe you don't believe in God and but I mean they could be God, but we don't know. We don't know. See that, come on. Now they cannot be sure these people that are brainwashing people soon. Oh, there's definitely a god. They don't know. They've, all they've got is faith. You know what I mean? What a beautiful part of the country. Absolutely gorgeous. Right. I was actually on my way to Danino when I seen a sign for back and I just remembered I seen videos of that fantastic waterfall over there. I thought I must have a look and I've found it quite easily. It's a nice car park here. It's easy to get to. 
All right, I'll see you on the other side. Favourite place in Fife. Um, this is Danino, Danino Dent. See that? Come on. Um, this is a, a magical, magical place. Um, this is the Druid's Well. Um, there's a lot of theories about this. It's a fairy pool. It's, um, Sacrificial pool, baptism pool, get your own theories to that. And this, before we go down into the den, is um, a footprint set in stone. Um, they say this is where the, the Scottish kings got crowned, but the Pictus kings, the Scottish kings were in Edinburgh, but Pictus kings. Um, you know, a lot of theories about that, but it could be a religious thing. Now look at this. It's been left here. Hey, fairies. See that? It's just where I'm going to go. Can I do it? It's just wee orphans. Dream catchers at all. Right. Oh, you stink, man. Oh. Go on. Go on, then. Look down at the den. There's practice carvings on the, on the wall. We'll see them on the way up. But there's loads of carvings here on the trees now. Probably pretty recent. See that? Now, we've got up here Look at the trees as they're crossed I wonder if that's got any significance Whether that's St Andrew's Cross or... No. Now Look at that, a saw Look at that, a saw See now, you've got the, the orphans, you need to be kind of, 
panels. Look at that. Scottish flag, I don't know why. Look at that. All of pennies in there. But I saw. I don't understand that. That's, that's a new one. But it's. Off of them. Look at that. Necklaces. It's a really mysterious place that no one got the proper answer to it. But it's definitely a Pictish site. Um, but they've turned into maybe a druid's place where there's some of the Dewey fairies and things like that because that's off of them. Look. Now that scarf there, I put that up. Um, that is the St Ninian's Tartan. Now I'm the Janney at St Ninian's Primary School in Dundee. Uh, and according to the books that St Ninian brought Christianity to the Picts along the St Columba. That was merely the southern Picts he brought them to. But I had that scarf in his. But there's loads of cars. Look at the wee frogs, look. Look at that. Fantastic. Dragonfly, though. Motorbike. Airbag. Look at that. Look at the same light. It's amazing. Now up here, there is a, a stone sculpture. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Now that, that's a burial site. Yeah, yeah. God, I'm getting bit to death here. It's like maybe a, a dog or something. But something's buried here. Let's see. A dog or a cat or something. Here. Up here, there is a stone carbon in the wall. I don't know if you can see it properly. We'll go around them. Get a better look. See now. See that's maybe a Scottish king or maybe a high priest or something like that. Look at that. Fantastic. What's the detail in that? What's the detail? Love is the law. Quite right, pennies in the wall there, look. Not off of them. Now, down here, there is a, a carving, a massive carving. See now? I don't know if you can make it out. Right. The end of that cliff. Right. It's like a man's, like a man's face side on. Look, look at that. How cool is that? He's got a beard. That's unbelievably good. Right. Now, I think up here, up here, yeah, there's a. Cross. Celtic cross. See ya. Don't know if we can make it out. Yeah. 
actually. Many, many years old. This is the second time I've been here. It's last time I never filmed it because there's loads of people about now. But this is one of Scotland's best kept secrets. Uh, I just hope it doesn't get too popular because it'll spoil it. Uh, people tend to spoil things like that. But, as I say, we want to visit this place. It's on uh, St Andrews to Anstruther Road uh, in the wee village of Danino. Um, on the way out of Danino, just as you come out, it's easy to miss. You might. See now? No! Eating something like that campfire, look at me, campfire. Balls and that, put them all in. See what I mean? That's spoiling it. Yeah, it's just, just come out of Danino. There's a. Uh, Turn off to your left, it's easy to miss the a wee sign St. Danino Church. The church is just up there a wee bit. And down the back of the church is a sort of pathway. Uh, and you just walk down the pathway, then you'll see up there before you get to the stairs. The well, the druid's well. But <laughs> I'm still struggling with a saw. I, mean, I don't know what that's for. I mean, I know it's an offering, but remember, if you come here to leave an offering. Called dream catchers. I don't know what about it, but I presume that when you leave an offering, you've got a dream. Tell them, it might come through. See now. But I've actually seen there's a note up there. There's like notes left for the fairies. There's one there. I wish for a horse and a horse food. Thank you, fairies. Lots of love, Alexandra. You know, it's fantastic, isn't it? I mean, how magical is this place? You know, this stairs been carved into the Loads of pennies, look. Loads of pennies. Perhaps I'll have these jeans. I would have left some. But I've left some before. No, that's the staff. That's a wee off thing. No change. Um, and they say it's bad luck. If you steal anything, it's on your own head. Be it if you steal anything. That, what a fantastic place. Well, it's quiet. But it's really, there's nothing creepy about it. What people say at me, is it not creepy? Not at all. See now, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. It's uh, totally, totally peaceful. So peaceful. And there's the stairs, look. 
that we've carved into the carpet back dish symbols. But well, careful, watch your foot and coming up and in here because it's kind of slippery. See, that's the Neon Den. What a lovely, lovely place. One more. <laughs> Good. Good boy. Come on in. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Monkey dried. Scottish flag. I don't know what year, but I don't know if you've ever seen a farm guest in Sparadiso. Have they? The kids swings at the end of a cloth. That's what that reminds me of. But let's have a look. Okay, yeah. Land today, you can get a ferry over there. Let me have a look at that tomorrow. We've got a world monument up there. 
try and stay down the distance. So I'm just going to have a restore back to the car and go into Anstutter and get the famous fish and chips in my teeth. I'm back to the caravan, tell you for a while and decide my next move. Ciao people!